Greetings. It is Thursday afternoon. Um, Veronica and I have been working all day on the business. So, I'm trying to revamp it. We actually just got listings on Wedding Wire and all this cool stuff. So, that's what we've been doing. Um, I haven't vlogged in a couple days. What did we do yesterday, honey bun? Oh, we went to our church's live recording and it was awesome. And um, we are making today. We made it earlier. Some chili. So we're excited about eating chili because we haven't had chili in a long time. Um, so we made it up. It's been in the crock pot all day and we're excited about eating it. So, <sighs> yep. So back to the business. It is Sunday and uh, afternoon. We are back at the house. Jeffrey is on his skateboard. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, it's my penny board. But uh, just warming up a little bit because we are getting in the pool for the first time this year. Veronica is cleaning it. It's actually nice having a pool right beside your house, but it's what we hear because people actually swim in pools, but we haven't yet. But hey, Veronica. Hi. She's cleaning it because there was bugs and they were, they were gonna bite her if she didn't. So yeah, so that's what's going on today. We haven't had a lot of videoing going on. We've been pretty busy with the business, revamping our website and all that fun stuff. Sorry this is like all foggy. Eh, it's kind of annoying, but um, we revamped the website and it looks nice. So if you want to check that out, I don't know if you guys knew, but we have our business. If you're just joining us, it's a photography web our business and we do weddings and anniversaries and engagements and all that fun stuff. We're uh, wovenstrandsphotography.com if you want to check out our stuff. Let us know what you think. Um, yeah, that's that and it's really what we've done all week. So we've actually been looking at our tiny house and figuring out things that we want to do differently too. Let me wipe this off again. Eh. Because there are a few things that we want to change with our house. Um, potentially there our kitchen table changing into something else. Um, where we sit we want to change um, because it's not very comfortable. So we've been looking for stuff on Pinterest. <laughs> what? Veronica laughs at me because I mentioned Pinterest and I'm a man, but hey. Um, yeah, so we're talking about changing this table. I have a weird glow. I think I ruined the camera because uh, it's like foggy on the inside of the inside of the lens. So. Whatever. Um, yeah, so we're looking at that. What else have we been looking at changing? Okay, so this, um, forget the ottoman idea. Uh, that's still not going to be comfortable enough. So we might just cancel this whole thing and sell it on Craigslist and get like a really thin futon, which is really hard to find because all of them come out to the edge right here. And that would really cramp up this space. Um, but we do have a few things, a few ideas like those, I guess they're like lounge couches where it's just like, normally they'd go this way, but we could put it this way and have one end down and just a bunch of pillows on the back. And then whenever uh, we want to sleep on it or if Veronica wants to take a nap, we can just, or if I want to take a nap, we can just lift up one side and sleep on it. Um, it's not as big as a couch and so that might work. So that's what we've talked about for that um, and just have a bunch of pillows on the back of it. So we might want to invest in a few more. It's kind of bothering me how this is all blurry. Oh well. So I'm going to start videoing when this stops getting blurry. So we'll see you in a second. So um, it is now storming outside and there's scary lightning. And that is one thing that if you want to have a tiny house, just don't be super afraid of storms because when they come, they come. And you're living in a really small house. So it's like kind of frightening. Um, Especially when you're sleeping in the loft and they come at night time and you're like as high as you possibly can be in the whole house. So it's like, man, if we get struck by lightning, we're going up like a toaster. And so you just don't worry about that and you'll be fine. Uh, we like it. It's kind of nice. I don't know. When you can hear the rain just kind of pitter pattering on the ceiling above you, but on the roof. So this is another random thing that we might be pulling out. Actually, I'm annoyed by it. This right here, the bottom part, it just comes out um because it is really a bother when you're trying to brush your teeth and you have this in the way because the sink is already that you know it kind of cuts the seat sink into half as deep as it already is and it's already not deep enough so that's another thing that we might be fixing 
And I don't know if there's anything else. Let me think for a moment and I'll be back. Okay, um, so another thing actually, one that probably you should know, make sure when you're building your house that you put P-traps on everything, or S-traps, whatever they're called. I think there's two different kinds. Probably S. Um, S-traps are the things that go underneath your sink. Uh, I will show you. Uh, Ta-da, we have an S-trap. And what it does is the water goes in here, and it really it like fills up because it's got to go up and around and down again. Uh, it stops any air from coming up and uh, blowing back through your system. So any, I don't know, like your gray water, wherever that's going to go, uh, it's going to have air coming back up. If you don't have an S-trap, then it stinks up your house, kind of like septic. Uh, we have S-traps on everything except our shower because for some reason I didn't think I needed it and I didn't put an S-trap down there. So that's something that we're going to have to fix because for now we're just stuffing, like every time we take a shower, we just stuff a, uh, a white cloth in there that we don't care about. And it kind of stops the smell from just like coming up in the house because at first I was thinking it was our toilet and everyone's like saying how you don't smell anything on the toilet. And that was confusing me because I was like, are you serious? It can't be the toilet. So it's that. So make sure you put S traps on everything. And for right now, I think that's everything that is kind of bothering us that we're going to fix. But we're really enjoying living the house, aren't we, dear? Yes, it's amazing. It's awesome. Um, and lately, we've just been leaving this screen up because it's a, we don't feel like pulling it down. But that's why that's up there. It doesn't normally always look like that. Um, so yeah, that's that. And. We're having our Q&A come out Wednesday, I think, if we can film it, and so that'll be good, and I think everyone, you know, just have a great week. We'll see you next week.